What's up and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share with you six things that I never film without. So the first thing I never film without is the small rig top handle. This is compatible with a lot of cages that come with cameras. And the main reason I never film without it is just it really adds an extra level of control with for the camera, especially in live action scenarios where you might be moving a lot and you have to get a shot that might be low. It also adds another level of versatility with a rig because it has another hot shoe mount here and the small rig cage that I'm using has already has a hot shoe mount built into the right side of it. This particular handle comes with a lot of other um, threads like quarter 20 and 3 eighths. The second item that I never film without is the 50 millimeter. Oftentimes I'm just using my vintage D.0 Industries 50 millimeter f1.7. I really like this lens. It really helps with low light situations, which I'm often shooting in. It really has just been my go-to 50 millimeter. I really hope to invest sooner in something that's more autofocus, just so that I'm not worrying about manual focus in uh, live action situations because that can be a bit of a setback, but I really enjoy this lens. The third thing that I never shoot without is my Rode Video Mic Go. Definitely an entry level item, but a lot of the things that I shoot are very live action, like concerts and conferences. And a lot of times they have their own audio or this is just a recap video that they want. And so rarely am I using the audio from the time, but this mic really comes in handy if there's a sound bite that I heard while I was shooting that I definitely want to include in the video. And audio doesn't have to be the cleanest, especially with, um, you know, recap videos because you can clean it up a little bit and it'll only be heard for about a second or two. The next thing that I never film without is this thing. It is the Manfrotto Element Monopod. I picked this up after watching a video by Peter McKinnon and he was describing a bunch of different um, perks of having a monopod and the different dynamic shots that you can have. And it's come in handy for similar reasons, but I've also found my own reason especially shooting in a lot of concerts and you're in crowded spaces. It's helped me a lot to just get above the crowd and shoot more level with the stage. Another thing that I don't shoot without is this. And it might seem very small, but it is very important. I can't tell you the amount of times that I've gone to a shoot and I'm like, where are my lens cloths? I don't have any wipes to clean my lens. And this being there has really helped, especially when it's just dust. It also has this other side that you can literally wipe the lens down with. This is something that is always in my bag. The last thing that I never shoot without is a Joby tripod. Right now I'm using it for this setup, but I got this like four or five years ago and it is always in my bag. It's still one of the most uh, usable tripods it's small the form factor is nice and just the different positions that you can put it in and rig up whatever you might need a light a, another camera a microphone it just comes in handy for a lot of things and i don't see myself getting this out of my bag so that has been six things that i never film without somehow i fit all of that into this but you know always look for things that you just keep in your bag and they stay in there and they're standard and you build off of that it's always good to have cleaning options secondary lens and an extension or an alternative version of a tripod especially if you're in a situation where you can't bring a tripod audio equipment all of these things are very important for videographers and cinematographers to just have on hand and you know it's always good to be prepared <laughs>